kind of the nice part about our group here is there's a lot of new faces, um, staff included, and I think that brings some freshness to the organization. Um, and I think the players probably appreciate it as well. I honestly didn't even know that <laughs> this place existed, to be honest, no offense. I just uh, was, you know, being from Toronto, I really don't venture out to uh, Glens Falls or upstate New York that often. Um, but, you know, I drove into the town. It's, it's a small little town, probably a tight, very tight-knit community. I've already, you know, been to some local places. People seem great. They're very nice to us. And uh, I think that uh, we're going to get along well with a lot of the people and the fans uh, around town. City around town, you go around eating different places, and, you know, they figure out that you're with the Flames. They're excited to have... Uh, the team here, so looking forward to getting things started. Yeah, I think we're gonna have a good team. It's uh, you know a lot of young guys, uh, a lot of high-end skill, a lot of guys who uh, you know know how to put the puck in the net, and I think uh, we're gonna have a good team here this year. Uh, it's been great working with the coaching staff, new guys. Uh, you know, I think everyone's coming together really quickly, and uh, looking forward to seeing you know how we uh, come together during the games. Whenever there's a change, I think there's some new life because there's some fresh ideas or. or we do things a little differently, and I think players enjoy that. For more of the Postar's coverage of the Adirondack Flames, including updated stats and standings, as well as photos and more video, go to postar.com flames.